Are you guys looking for bumpers for your 1967 to 72 Chevy or GMC? If so, I'm glad you're here. Over the six year period, GM made several changes to the hoods, the hood latches, the fenders, the grills, and guess what? They did the same with the bumpers. So stick around and I'll show you how to identify these bumpers and which years they go to. Hey guys, it's the Chad, and I'm here to talk to you about the front and rear bumpers of the 1967 to 72 Chevy and GMC. The first bumper we're going to look at is going to be the 1967 to 70 Chevrolet, or it also fit the 1967-68 GMC. This is one solid bumper. They would either come in chrome or it would be painted. This would be the same bumper as the 1969-72 GMC, except for at the top of the bumper there would be small cutouts for the park lights, as you can see in this picture. Another difference you may see on this top bumper would be this hole on both sides. This was going to be for a vertical push bumper. Now this was an option that wasn't on every model. This would be something that's a little bit different from truck to truck. The next bumpers we'll look at will be the 1971-72 Chevrolet. Now, these are specific to Chevrolet. The big difference that you see here is that we do have cutouts now in the bumper for the park and turn signals. In 71 and 72, they move from the grill down into the front bumper. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now, again, you could get it in painted or all chrome. Now, you guys have seen several options of the front bumpers of these old trucks. Now, this isn't all of them. This is just kind of what I had on hand. Let me know down in the old clickety-clack what your favorite style of the front bumper is. You know what mine is, the old 71 to 72. Why? Because they just look the coolest. Well, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. If you guys are enjoying my 67 to 72 videos or find value from them, especially my bumper video, can you go over and, you know, bump the like button? <laughs> that was bad. So when we're moving to the rear bumpers, there are several different bumpers out there. Now this one is very sturdy. This one's pretty cool because it's actually got notches for safety chains already in it. You've got your ball there, mount your license plate there, but this thing weighs a ton. They could be wraparounds, they could have pinnel hooks, ball hitches. So this style of bumper would be great for use on the farm, towing things, but it's probably not going to be one you're going to go back and put on your hot rod. So the old heavy steel bumpers. They give you a lot of protection. You can tow a lot. Good Lord. There are cicadas everywhere. You guys have cicadas? Or is this just a Kansas thing? You know, it's cicadas here and my birds chirping over here. It's kind of hard to make these videos. Anywho. So the old steel rear bumpers gave you a lot of protection. You could tow a lot of things with them, but they were ugly. What I'd be putting on my old hot rod would be one of these chrome fleet side bumpers. Now, very minimal protection if you're hit from behind, and you can't tow with them, but they look really cool. Now, there were differences between the old fleet side bumpers and the step side. The step side bumpers were a lot narrower compared to the fleet side, so again, you have to make sure you're buying the right bumper for the right bed you have as well. If you're going for the pretty clean look like this chrome flat bumper, there's another option you could look at too, and that would be the aftermarket fiberglass roll pan. Now, this gives you minimal protection. If you go with a roll pan, it gives you zero protection. And if this is a truck that you're gonna be driving out on the roadways, be really careful. There's so many people driving around with their head up their apps that you could get hit. And if you do, that's gonna be a lot of damage to the back of that bed. So there are a lot of different options to choose from, but what kind of protection do you truly need? So if you do decide to go the route of buying one of these chrome flat panel bumpers off of LMC, Classic Parts, wherever it may be, don't forget to order the license plate bracket. It does not come with it. You also need to order a license plate lamp too. Now you guys have seen several options of the front and rear bumpers on the 1967 to 72 GM trucks. So the decision's yours. Are you gonna go to LMC truck and buy new front and rear chrome bumpers? Or are you gonna try to find something used? It just depends what type of build you're going for. I'm not one that's scared to go out and buy used parts, especially chrome bumpers. Now, if something's a little bit dirty or has a little surface rust, that doesn't bother me. I'm gonna show you my cheap and easy tips of how I go through and polish up my chrome. I use a can of Brasso wadding and Quad Zero steel wool. These two items and a roll of paper towels, 
or an old shirt or an old bath towel. These things work great. So stick around and we'll clean this one up. If we take a closer look at my 1971-72 Chevrolet front bumper, it does have quite a bit of surface rust, a lot of oxidation on it, but it is really straight. And that's why I bought it. Just the outside appearance of this doesn't scare me because I know with my Brasso and a little steel wool, this will shine up really good. So what I'm going to start off with is my Brasso wadding polish. Now, if you've never seen this before, it's kind of, it's kind of like a fabric material and it's got the polish inside of it. So I just take a chunk of that off, go through and get me a piece of my steel wool. So what you do is you get your wadding and you just start working it in a circular motion. It's got a polished liquid inside of it. So you're just trying to lubricate this a little bit, get all the polish onto it. And then what I do, once I have it lubricated, I go through with my Quad Zero steel wool and I just really start working it in. Now, Quad Zero is not real aggressive, but it's more aggressive than the Brasso itself. So I really start hitting areas that have rust on it. And if it's surface rust, it'll come right out. But if it's deep where there's no chrome left anymore, you're probably not gonna get that rust. But you can just see right there, it's already taken that surface rust right off. I'm gonna do this to the entire bumper. It will haze, that's when I know it's dry or it's time to wipe it back off. If we don't get that desired look we are going for, we can come back and do a whole nother coat. So if I've applied the first coat, went through with the steel wool, scrubbed it down. I'm only gonna do about half of the bumper. That way you can see the, the difference that it does make. But you can see it does have this hazy finish. It's just letting you know it's ready to polish off. So I wiped off the polish on the first half, and man, it looks really good. Again, don't forget, if you have deep scratches where the chrome's no longer there, this Brasso and polish isn't gonna fix that. But you can already see from the left side to the right, what a difference that has already made. So let's go finish the second half of the bumper, and I'll give you a before and after. So I've got her all wrapped up. That's all I used. Two little wads of Brasso and a half a pad of steel wool to make it turn out like this. That turned out great. So for a few minutes of your time and a couple bucks in materials, you can turn something that looked like that into something that looked like this. I mean, it's pretty much a no brainer for me because I'm cheap, but I also get a lot of satisfaction of transforming something that looks like junk into making it look newer, newish, kinda new again. So now you've seen several options of the 67 to 72 front and rear GM bumpers. You've also seen my tips how to polish chrome. Now this doesn't just apply to the bumpers, it can be any type of chrome. If you guys are getting value from my videos, please hit the like button, think about subscribing, and check out my other 67 to 72 truck videos. I have some other ones out there too. I appreciate your time, thanks for watching.